Hey guys, I want to show you something. This is a, a very beautiful, a very big loft on the top floor. It's not that high, the 15th floor. And it's like the whole, whole, whole building. Eh? There are some stupid walls here. You can't see the full space. Eh? But It's really nice. So the owner is selling this for uh, four million or so, but this is the top floor, but also the floor below. And that's two apartments on each side. And so he's basically selling this, this very big loft here, a big terrace here. You can open the windows, all of them, with a view on the river. And some docks. So he's, he's selling this apartment, but um, why am I showing this? Sorry for the echo, but yeah, this is an empty place. This guy is selling this, but he has owned this since 2009, almost, or eight. He probably bought it in 2008, or seven even. Um, and so he owned this for 10 years. He never did anything with it, just storing capital. He, he he has also a bunch of garages, so that's a huge buy. Eh? You you buy the two top floors of a, a new building, you have six garages, um, um, and 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 he didn't do anything with that. So so from what I see is that that's just storing capital. It's not a mistake. He didn't buy this by mistake. No, that's just how he invests. And prices in Belgium the last 10 years have not gone up very much, so... But he, he wasn't even renting out the garage boxes, which would be very easy to do. No, he just leave it standing there for 10 years, empty. Um, while at the same time paying huge maintenance costs, eh, because you pay maintenance costs based on how much square meter you own in the building. And, and, and so, so that... The, the, so, so, basically, it makes financial sense to him to do that. And why does that make sense? Because overall, real estate on average goes up by about the same rate as inflation, which is about five, six, seven percent. So this is a much better way for him to park money than to put it on a bank account. Even if you don't rent it out, it's a better deal. Even if you do nothing with it and you just leave it standing to sell in 10, 20 years, it's a better investment than leaving it on a bank account. So, um, <clears throat> and that's the potential of cryptocurrency. Um, wh why is that? That parking money in real estate, which is a total waste. You leave a building empty for 10 years, it's not used for 10 years. Um, somebody could have lived here, many people could have lived here in the meantime and enjoyed this place. So there is a waste factor, and he pays that by paying huge maintenance fees to get nothing in return. But why, why is he willing to do that? Because, well, you know, the loss is much less than putting it in euros. I mean, there, there you lose 5% per year of the purchasing power. You don't have that here. I mean, the, the, this keeps its purchasing power which means it goes up by five, six, seven percent per year because that's the inflation. And, and that's the problem of money. Money does not preserve its purchasing power. And, uh, but with cryptocurrencies, you can. Of course, uh, you, have, you have cryptocurrencies. You can only invest in the largest ones, the ones that are established. Um, and even then, it's of course, there is a risk. But it is a new form of money, uh, meaning people use this to pay each other and nobody can issue more currency and put it in their pockets. This is, this is a huge innovation. And, and so today we have seen that altcoins have gone up a lot. Uh, but if you look from it, from the broader market's perspective, um, uh, this is still valued extremely, extremely small. 
so so altcoins went up from two and a half to ten billion now um, and Bitcoin itself is worth also 10 15 billion total market cap of all cryptocurrency is about 25 billion but this is really play money um, the I mean, ju just one company, uh, many, many, many companies are valued higher than the total cryptocurrency market. Uh, so, uh, you can see indeed in altcoins that uh, you have a lot of novice investors that have indeed little experience and will pay way too much money for something um, and have no understanding of what they are buying and really are very emotionally uh, driven um, that's true but it can take a very long time before a bubble pops and a bubble uh, you need to analyze a bubble first and foremost like is this a bubble um, and that you do based on, on how high is it valued versus how much value does it offer and cryptocurrency is valued at 25 billion but how much value does it offer today well i mean sorry the right question is how much can value can it offer in the future as an investor that's what you need to ask not today because you're always investing something that needs to be built still or needs to get adopted still as an investor you need to look ahead and see if this company or if this currency will offer a lot of value in the future and yes cryptocurrency will very likely offer a lot of value in the future for people and this because we're all all i'm also very emotional eh? I don't like that I don't invest in something. I don't like certain things about it, like with Dash, for example. I chose not to invest in it. In Ethereum also, I chose not to invest in it. It goes up tons. That's very difficult to, to then still invest in it. After you missed that boat, after you missed 10 folding, 100 folding, um, it's emotionally very difficult to admit that you were wrong. And, um, and, and that you should invest still. And also, of course, there is high risk. I, it may correct strongly and, and then you're really screwed. Not only did you not make money on it, you even lost money on it. So you have to look at, 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 at but, 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 but to make a long story short, I diversified some altcoins into Bitcoin of about 22, 25% Bitcoin about 60% altcoins and about 20% fiat or so. But I see that this altcoin bubble is not finished. And, and, and even though the odds historically are high for Bitcoin to go up versus altcoins, in practice, I don't see this happening right now. It's not happening. It may happen tomorrow, but right now it's not happening. And uh, so, 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 so I uh, consider strongly to uh, again, invest uh, more Bitcoin into the altcoin markets. Um, just because, um, yes, Bitcoin will indeed go, continue to go down versus altcoins because over the long term, short term, uh, maybe not, but long term, that's still very certain. Currently, Bitcoin still has 70% of the market cap, now 67. But in cryptocurrency, the network effect is not that strong. Um, it's very easy for people to switch currency. If they have a certain coin that they love, they can easily say, okay, fuck Bitcoin, I'm going to just do everything in this coin. And, and even people that want to pay me in Bitcoin or they want to receive Bitcoin, that's not a problem, uh, but I will, I will convert it immediately into my coin and keep it uh, stored in my coin and I will pe pay people in my coin and just use some service to convert it in the middle into their coin. So, 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 so the network effect meaning like there, there is no 
yeah, th this is a very important uh, thing to realize. Eh? Uh, and of course, on top is that Bitcoin really does not innovate. Um, and that's, of course, a problem in the world of technology. Uh, you can't stand still. And this is happening with Bitcoin. And, and, and that's you can afford to stand still if you have a strong network effect. If people are really locked in to your service, like with Microsoft and Windows at the time, you couldn't change to another operating system because it was not compatible with each other or with Facebook at the time because this is changing already but at the time you can't really go to another uh, social network because nobody of your friends is on it and so so uh, yeah um, so, so 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 but right now you see a lot of other social networks popping up um, and, um, and, and, and and so even that where you have a, even where you have a very strong network effect that can still be broken uh, and you see that, like Facebook, it's it's not the future anymore. Uh, like in, in ten years, many other social networks will be a lot bigger than Facebook. Um, so everything comes and goes, especially in the world of technology. And and, and so, um, as an investor, you really it's your job uh, to, to 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 look for those coins. That um, have a have 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 uh, yeah can grow a lot in, in, in adoption and, and are able to offer offer a lot of value to f to people in the future and, um, and 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 yeah go with the flow um, yeah. Overall values are still very low, and um, and and and, and um, it really does not matter um, how much something has gone up or down in the past. Uh, what matters is um, what's the current market cap, um, and is it possible that this uh, goes up a lot? Of course, the inflation is also important. Voila, that was it, guys. Bye.